To dream, to seek the unknown, to look for what is beautiful is its own reward. A man's reach should exceed his grasp. Hello, I'm Honey Holmes and we're on the red carpet here tonight at the British Museum for the premiere of The Lost City of Z. Charlie, can I ask you how you prepared yourself in the lead up for the role? You know, unfortunately, I had very, very little time. I had just finished doing um, uh, King Arthur with Guy Ritchie, and I only had 10 days to prepare. So I really just immersed myself in all of the reading and research I could possibly do in that 10 days, uh, and also starved myself, because I finished King Arthur at 183 pounds, and I finished uh, Lost City of Z at 145, so I lost almost 40 pounds, but I needed to lose a significant amount very rapidly. So I lost about 15 pounds, of that initial first 10 days, which was uh, no fun at all to do, I can tell you. <laughs> Lots of water for you then. Yeah, very little else but water. Can I ask you a little bit about the casting process for the film? Yeah. So I um, met James. Uh, and it was a really interesting meeting because he said, yes, you're going to be in the film, but I'm going to write you in. So I was like, okay, wow. So uh, two weeks went past and I was saying to people, well, I might be in this film. And then I read the part, I was like, I am in this film because it was a lovely part. So that's how I, I got I, I got into this film. I mean, it was a very odd way of, of, um, of getting in. Uh, Did that give you any kind of control over the direction of the role itself? No, not at all. I mean, I was so, I was so like, okay, great. Yeah. Well, I'll read it, and I can't wait to read it. So um, it, it was a very odd one, really, but uh, one that I really enjoyed, and I've never had something written for me before, so that was an interesting... And knowing that, of course, um, how much does the character vary to yourself, personality-wise, or was there a lot of similarities well, or differences? I think, I think we're very different. Um, I think I, I like to think that I would, if someone came with me, came to me with an idea, I'd be very forthcoming and celebrate it, but uh, this character didn't or doesn't um, so I think we're quite different actually it's and quite yeah quite quite not very nice to begin with actually I think yeah so a bit of transformation isn't transformation because I'm super nice <laughs> yeah I mean you know Tom was uh, the relationship with him my approach to working with him was sort of very gentle and nurturing and uh, you know sort of I guess as fatherly as he would accept me being I mean we're not that far apart in age and yet I uh, hear I was playing his father and with Robert, there's a certain level of um, holding each other at an arm's length, and they they really get to know each. They don't know each other at all when you meet them on the screen. And I thought it would be interesting to try to to develop that relationship in real time on the screen. So I chose not to really have any interaction with Robert other than when the camera was rolling, which was an interesting experiment and not something that I ever really discussed with him, but just sort of evolved naturally. In he seemed to be game for it, so it was nice, it was, uh, it was fun, and now I've got to know him a little bit subsequently, and, and obviously going to really like him, he's a lovely guy. What was the best thing about working on the film? Um, I just loved the fact that everyone involved loved the story so much, it was a, felt like a real passion project for so many people. I loved working with James, I think he's an exquisite director, Charlie, Rob, all of the guys, um, and Sienna, um, I just really, really enjoyed, enjoyed myself, yeah. And was there any big challenges being part of it? Uh, there was like big set pieces in the film, which are always challenging, just from a scale point of view. But um, no, not really. it was a real joy, real joy. What was the biggest challenge working in the jungle? I mean, I suppose, it, you know, it was very strenuous, some of these locations we were going to, and like I said, we were losing weight, so I was on very, very little calories, uh, so I would get pretty fatigued sometimes, and, you know, um, a little emotional sometimes, frankly, you know, when you're starving yourself like that, you know, I, I, find, I, I found myself on a real emotional roller coaster. sometimes I was sort of manically happy and energetic, and sometimes I just had no energy and wanted to cry, so just trying to stay as emotionally consistent. Uh, as possible, I suppose, was the biggest physical challenge. Thanks for joining us here today. Please make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and we'll have more for you guys next time.
Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.